Hello and welcome to the beautiful Surrey Hills in the southeast of England. Now, battery range has been an age-old debate amongst e-mountain bikers. However, we might have been looking at it the wrong way. And we've been posed a claim by AD that maybe the new Microtune on the new Specialized Levo offers a better option than the traditional three-mode system of Eco, Trail and Turbo. AD, 20% more battery range and a 700 watt hour battery is an outrageous claim. I do think that he's been drinking too much grappa out in Italy. <laughs> Santo Spirito's one, it's pretty potent. But yeah, riding with my Italian friends, a lot lighter than me, I always used to have to take a charger, always, uh, because they're big rides. But um, using the Microtune, I was coming back with more range. Wow. And you're what, 20 kilos heavier? Yeah, pretty much, about that, so big difference. Wow, crikey. So Adi, you fully believe that Microtune is the secret to more range and more energy, right? Absolutely. Okay, right, well folks, today we are gonna put one specialized Levo, and we're gonna do one loop using Eco Trail and Turbo, sorry about the horn, and another loop using full Microtune. Okay, Adi, give us a quick rundown of today's loop. Yeah, so we're gonna do about 60K, um, 1,500 meters of climbing, starting over in Pease Lake, round the trails here onto Pitch, then onto Leith behind us, and then a big loop back, back into Pease Lake. Duration? About four hours. Okay, right. Obviously that's gonna conclude with a lovely uh, pork and leek sliced down at Pease Lake stores, right? And a cheese straw. A <laughs> cheese straw. Uh, Adi, is everything's gonna be equal, right, on this ride? That's right. S sure. Same rider, same clothes, same pressures, Everything, same temp, everything, trails, the lot. Right, guys, we're gonna be doing two loops. Now, the first loop is using the traditional Eco Trail and Turbo setup on this bike. Now, it's almost factory setting. So when you look at the support level and the peak powers in each of those modes, we're looking at an Eco 2530, in Trail 5070, and then in Turbo mode, we're looking at 100% support and 100% peak. The all-new Mastermind TCU found on this S-Works model has been well covered and gives additional information such as power output, altitudes, trip, speed, distance and much more over the standard Levo TCU. However, it also has a lesser well-known feature called Microtune and that is the ability to adjust the bike support power output in 10% increments on the fly. Now most e-bikes have their power control output in three increments, usually Eco Trail and Turbo, and like old automatic cars, can be very inefficient in terms of power consumption. So can the prospect of being able to select on the fly lower power settings for flat roads or an in-between power setting when turbo is too much, save power and also increase range? That must have been on full whack, right? Yeah. I like your style, Steve. Had it slightly harder and off the saddle it's, a bit. It, the style is a kind of slight crouch. Yeah. Like, you want to sit on the toilet seat, but not quite. probably wondering why on earth are they stopping? Well, the first thing, there was a stick in my wheel. But the second reason is that AD has actually spent a huge amount of time, both in Italy and here in the Surrey Hills, researching this whole business of Microtune versus the traditional Eco Trail and Turbo. And I want to point out is, is that AD has actually done the comparison already. So the aim of today is actually to go around with AD to explore some of the questions that surrounding this quite complex subject. And my first question, AD, is how do you keep it 
how do you keep it fair? How do you keep it the same speed on, on both runs? Well, the object of the test, the second loop, can't be any slower than the first loop. Otherwise, it's a bit pointless. So, uh, so to keep track of that, I've used the virtual partner system that Garmin has got. So I've always kept it within 50, 100 meters. Sometimes I'm even ahead on the, uh, the Microtune. So that way through the whole ride, I'm pretty much equal. Wow, AD, this is the kind of hill where Eco is not quite enough, but trail is a bit too much, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. This is where Microtune really comes and it's to its own. Yeah, because it's going to be in between the two setters, right? Yeah, absolutely. Those marginal gains on everything like this. Marginal gains, eh? Yeah, this is where it's getting quite a workout. What a trail. Oh, I love the Surrey Hills. And so after four and a half hours of riding, 55 kilometers and over 1500 meters of climbing, Aidy had used almost all of the 700 watt hour Levo battery. Now we've just stopped before heading out on our second loop, as you can see, we're at the famous Peas Lake Village stores and we've had a, a cheeky little pork and leek uh, lattice. Aidy, time now to go out and do the Microtune uh, loop. Yep. I think, first of all, can you explain to people who maybe aren't familiar with Microtune, how it exactly works? Well, Microtune allows you to step up in increments by every 10%. So both your peak power, your support, both 10%, 20%. It's so actually quite simple. So it goes 10 support, 10 peak power. Yeah. 20 support, 20, 20 peak 30, power. 30, 30, all the way to 100. Okay, right. So it's like it's like having more gears in the, in the tank, right? Yeah, it's exactly that. Fine tune, hence the term. So could Microtune produce significant savings over the traditional eco trail and turbo setup on Olivo? This was the question, along with many others, such as how much more energy, if any, did AD use? Yeah, I think it's really cool the fact that you've been riding at 10% and I've been in the standard eco mode and we can ride together and I think yep. that's a feature which will appeal to loads of people especially on group rides but yes. one thing I was going to man uh, talk to you about was managing your sort of effort levels you know we talked about your virtual partner on the on the first loop uh -huh. what about heart rate yeah well that's one way of, of, of keeping the, the ride similar, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And also to control my effort, just to see within this test, to see exactly where we're going to be with this, you know. Yeah, you can get more range, but usually that's at, at the cost of extra effort. So um, that's but, something you but need what to do. But I guess, the, I guess the ideal scenario is to have a little bit more effort, but a lot more battery, right? Absolutely. Come on, then. So the AD is now on 10%. I'm an eco. This is the kind of trail we're on. So, both winning. Yeah. Well, I am. Got more battery. Of course, yeah. Aidy's winning actually because he got more battery. Okay, guys, we're at the base of uh, quite a steep picture in the Surrey Hills. Uh, now, this is where Aidy is in Microtune, and I'm not sure what what percentage you can be in, but I'm definitely going to be in in turbo mode or maybe trail mode but AD what are you going to be in here? I'm going to be in between turbo and trail about 70. Okay so 70% of micro tune. Yeah. But possibly a bit more or a bit less. Maybe less. That's okay. the beauty of it. I can fine tune as I'm riding along. Okay folks we're diving in. Oh crikey that is a bit of a pitch. <laughs> now this Levo's slightly 
higher geared than 80s Levo. The ground conditions here are super loose. Aidy, how are you getting on there with 70%? Well, that's 78 and I'm still going. Oh, see, the thing is, turbo. Uh, he doesn't need turbo, but I actually need turbo because I'm probably about 20 kilos heavier than 80. So this is where he's saving, but this is where I have necessity in my hands. No problemo. No problemo. 70% micro tune. Oh, down to 30 now. Down to 30. Yeah. Oh, still, Brandon. Aidy, we're talking here about trying to eke out the maximum amount of energy from your e-bike battery. But, you know, for some people, you know, two to three hours is all they want. It's, and, and, you know, range management's not on their agenda, right? No, absolutely. Two hour blast with your mates, you can pretty much turbo in. And that's where the big fun is. But if you're out in the Alps where I've regularly ride this, then range is a real issue. You don't want to be stuck with nothing up there. Well, you say that, you don't want to be stuck in a beautiful cafe in the mountains drinking espresso and having lovely pizza and focaccia, do you really? Okay, <laughs> you got that one. <laughs> with a charger, by the way, that's what I meant. Well, folks, AD was actually right. Massive battery savings there using Microtune. So on AD's first loop using the traditional eco trail and turbo method, 655 watt hours of usage. Now on the second run with Microtune, 501 watt hours of battery use. So you could easily have done that, that ride in a 500 watt hour battery, so. Yeah, we could have. It's uh, a big 150 watt saving there. Yeah. So going back to how we began this video is that maybe there's this obsession about having bigger batteries, you know, 750s, 900s, having 625s with a bolt-on battery. Maybe we're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe we should be looking at how to use our batteries more efficiently. No, absolutely. Um, I mean, you never see car manufacturers saying this is a bigger petrol tank to get more range. So, uh, you know, more efficient engines, better so you, gearing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Aidy, I think the you know, important part of the story here is, is the three or four mode system a little bit outdated? Absolutely, like an old three-speed automatic car. Yeah, God, when was that? <laughs> I know, exactly. And in the days of these modern mountain bikes, we should have been well past that now. And this Microtune is, yeah, we're getting there. Do you know what, it was interesting you said out on the trail a little earlier, you said you're actually sometimes using the Microtune adjust as a gear as well? At times, yeah, you do. It's, um, you do press the button a lot. It's something that comes quite natural to you when you're using the gears. Is that a downside of using the Microtune? There's a lot of button pressing? It is a little bit. Uh, if the only critical thing, if you're on the track, you don't know, and it's a sudden surprise, you haven't got that instant bang turbo. So, however, folks, you must be thinking what I'm thinking because AD used 150% support in Eco Trail and Turbo, whereas he only used 100% support in uh, Microtune. So there's a, a missing 50% there. You must have, you must have, you know, comp uh, um, compensated by putting more effort in yourself. Yes, I mean, really, you're, you're not going to get more range without putting a little bit more effort in there. So this is something I thought about. So I wore a heart rate monitor. Ultimately, um, my average heart rate, heartbeat running the three speed was 128 and running the Microtune was 133. So we're talking five beats per minute. That's about 5%. Right. So the effort is quite minimal and you really don't feel it. So that's what you're saying, that you put in 5% more effort but you've got 50% more range out of your, sorry not 50% but you've got 20% more range out of your battery. Well it's a pretty good trade-off to me. It's a pretty good trade-off. Yeah, yeah yeah and it all felt natural, I didn't feel that I needed to push more but I could have if I wanted to, it was there so yeah. 
It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's, uh, if, you, if we do break this down into even more detail, and guys, we're going to follow this up with, a, with an EMBN showpiece uh, in future weeks about this, but you did spend uh, a little bit more time in Zone 4, didn't you? I think it was about 30 minutes more. I did, yeah. Well, looking at uh, in the Garmin Connect app, once I uploaded both the rides in, so Zone 3 was both were identical. That's yeah. the bit you're on your trail and you're pumping. Yeah, and I think that is the big was a big part of your ride was Zone Three, which you yeah. know what is pretty much like a normal bike ride. And yeah. also, one thing we did pick up on is the fact that a lot of AD's time in Zone Four was actually in the downhill section, right? It was, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, amazing how much your heart rate goes. You know, so if you had a little alarm on it, it'll go beep beep beep. Yeah. <laughs> Because and again, it comes back to the nature of the ride you did. You know, you're in the Surrey Hills. You did a lot of climbing, loads of descents in that in that in that effort. So, yeah. a pretty intense ride, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was. And um, yeah, it just goes to show that the micro tune. You, you're not making yourself suffer from it. The fun of the e-bike is still there. It's just those in-between bits. You save it on there, and you just go further. Guys, a fascinating comparison there between a Microtune and Eco Trail and Turbo. But I think the big question is how does Microtune stack up against the likes of Bosch EMTB mode or the Yamaha PWX3 automatic mode? Yeah, well, the main difference is that the EMTB mode, for example, uh, gives you more power as you pedal, whereas with Microtune, you're more in control of it. Yeah. So, um, and also, you need to tune into that rhythm of the motor, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but, Adi, I think that's the next chapter of this uh, story, is how does Microtune stack up against uh, the Bosch or the Yamaha system? I think that would be our next trip to the Surrey Hills. Uh, so, folks, let us know if you've actually got any data on Microtune yourselves, or indeed any other system. Uh, and we'll see you next time uh, at the Pease Lake Village stores for a pork and leek lattice uh, and a coffee. Don't forget to subscribe to EMBN and give us a thumbs up if you like this video.